Hello everyone, T Man978. Right now I'm gonna be reviewing Marvel Legends series Black Widow 2 Pack Red Guardian and Melina. I guess she's also a Black Widow. Here's that side artwork, here's this side artwork, and here's the stuff on the back, which is actually the same thing you just saw. Here are the bios in English and pause to see the rest of this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, wait. What the heck? All <laughs> one, two, all five of these are in English. They done screwed up. I just noticed that. As I'm scrolling, I'm like, I can read that. Okay, let me get it out of the box. <laughs> T Man 978 Chill Review. All right, here they go out of packaging and to get the elephant out of the room. This is the same body as that Black Widow, so yeah. Swivel ankles. It is tough as crap to get her standing up. But what's new is his face. And look at that. It looks awesome. Looks really good. They're starting to get better with that whole not being glossy situation. Unless you got bright, 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 bright lights. But, yeah. There we go. But they're not getting better on. I mean, she's smiling a bit. But I hate when I do the stoic thing for action poses. It's, it's very hard to do. But as you can see, she has a nice ponytail. That uh, the little holder was... Her, her hair must just be tied up in her hair. The hair must just be in a knot and she doesn't have like a little bow or anything because it's not a different color. But yeah, there you are with that. Yeah, as you can see, she comes with this backpack that does have hints of red in it. She does have hints of red in the shoulders right there. With this armor being different colored, it kind of makes me think of a stormtrooper without the actual stormtrooper helmet. But as you can see, she does include the tonfas that Black Widow typically comes with. They did still include the guns and they are still removable and tiny as crap. But let's just get right into our articulation. You, you see what she looks like. So head is on the ball hand so she can look up a ton, which is great. Look down a lot. Head can pivot a bit. And of course, swivel. Shoulders can go up about 90. Of course, they can rotate. They can bend slightly more than 90. And of course, rotate. The wrist here goes up and down like that. I believe he, she has three sets of hands. So two of the three do that. Diaphragm joint goes back that much doesn't really go forward too much nothing at the waist legs do this the belt rises so I'm probably gonna have to glue that like I did with the, um, Natasha Black Widow does that you seen that and like I said swivel at the angle instead of pivot goes all the way forward all the way back and of course these tonfas can who are in there very snugly. You don't have to worry about them falling out there as like a little grabbing point. Besides these hands that's meant for holding the tonfas, she does have the trigger finger hands, which actually she had in her hands out of package. I guess they didn't want to have the guns like as separate accessories in the packaging. So they put these hands on her so people can tell, oh, if she has those hands, she, those guns are probably removable. But they're very tiny. Like noisy cricket tiny. I guess that makes them easy to hold and shoot. I don't know how many bullets they would hold. So besides that, you get the fist hands, which is great for fighting like it and she does come with let me give her one of her regular regular i'm gonna give her both of her gripping hands because the last thing she comes with is this grappling hook 
<coughs> which you can hold in that hand and hold this side over there. So it's tied up right now. I honestly don't want to untie it, but as you can imagine, it will get longer and you can put her in poses climbing up things. Isn't that lovely? I like her besides the kind of blank faces a face it looks good for just standing there stoic poses just like she had on the box but as far as action poses that gets in the way um the guns don't stay in the hand super well because the trigger finger is not like curved in as you can see it's kind of coming out the hand right there and i Definitely don't like when they don't give figures real ankle pivot. I hate that they need to figure out a way to, to, to get that to be better. And the last thing is, well, this is still here like it was with Black Widow where it looks like her skin is not really a part of her body. It's protruding out the suit. That didn't change. And what else? I'll nitpick this one's a nitpick this belt i can put a some gorilla glue behind that to keep it here so when she kicks up it stays in place but it is unfortunate that that rises and doesn't look good when you're trying to get her into a serious pose but she still looks good and you can more than likely get her to do what she needs to do like in this pose this face doesn't matter because she's like about to reach up she doesn't need a real expression and the hair does bump into these tonfas and potentially can warp them and bend them so be mindful of that but other than that she's just, she's an okay figure now red guardian you're gonna have to look at my old review to see the differences number one difference he did not come with this helmeted head which is very detailed as you can see and nicely painted that's awesome he comes with this nicely detailed specific to him shield which is cool it's the more kiddified version where you get the hook right there and you can take this and i see uh, I'm, I'm warping that already pluck plug it plug it into his back it is cool that you can do that that's the one good thing about that you get arms that go up to here rotate the neck is on a double ball post just like the first one elbows they didn't do pinless joints so the elbow bends just 90 degrees really this wrist goes in like that this wrist goes up and down he has a lot of ab crunch for somebody with a serious dad bod going on. You can go back a lot. Just rotate at the waist. Go out to there. Kick forward that much. Kick back. Not really much. Swivel. Double hinge knee. Boot swivel, thank goodness. Actual ankle pivot. And the foot goes all the way back. And can come forward. None of the things he comes with, which are cool. He comes with, let me get this out the way before I break that mess. See, this is how that works, if you didn't know. He comes with an unmasked face that looks way more accurate to what I've seen in the trailers. Well, there you are with that. The face looks good. The first version didn't look so, I, I can't explain it. You can look at my video to see what I said. But, eh, it looked more statue-y, statue-y. This one looks more like a real person. It was something unnatural about the hairline. Besides these hands, he does come with these ungloved hands. So he can look like he's ready to fight and whatnot, or ready to wrestle. And I do like that. 
So that's the cool option right there. Come on. There we go. And he comes with this tiny, tiny Red Guardian action figure. It is really small. It doesn't have a beard, so I'm guessing this is from a long time ago before he got old and out of commission. But that's awesome. I don't think I showed it, but both of these hands go out like this, which is really good. But yeah, Red Guardian is cool. He's just as good as like the first or pretty much any Captain America that's been out. So that's good. Only thing that might be a hindrance or an, a nuisance is the way the neck works, but you get, uh, he doesn't really look up that much. I was going to say you get decent range, but he doesn't really look up that much, which is the only problem. For a $40 set, if you get this off of Amazon, link in the description, you get a lot for your money, which I, I'm definitely happy about. Melina definitely comes with a lot of accessories. Anything you can think to make her do, she does. I'm, I'm not even sure how much of the stuff she's actually going to use in the movie. But there you are. If he's anything like Captain America, I'm pretty sure all he needs is that shield and the helmet. And these hands are a nice touch. And this action figure is cool. So you can have your figures having little action figures. Here's the whole crew right here. I don't know if they're going to be all together suited up in the movie, but I saw them in a scene all together in the movie, so they they all do get together, so this is cool right there. This is a good set overall. Besides the nitpicks about these, the main problems I have with these main, main, hard to get away from problems is the ankles. Getting them to stand up for this picture right here, annoying. It took way more time than I wanted it to it to take but with all the accessories and playability of this it's cool you should be able to get some cool pictures and if you're buying this for a kid they should have a lot of stuff to mess around with and yeah they they should be happy maybe like if after they see this movie they they get these characters they can do a lot of stuff with them but anywho thank you for watching this until next time t-man 978 out of here the videos, click the f***ing videos, baby, click, click the videos, you should really click these videos, click, click the videos, click the f***ing videos, baby, click, click the videos, you really should click those videos, click that shit.